All right, y'all. I'm, I'm gonna make. I, I, if I can get a chance, I'm gonna make a small video or maybe just one video. I don't know a video. I don't really have much time. I've been. This is the project, my big project over here. I've been working on for a while. It's a, you know, it's a small pole barn that I'm putting in place. Parked the tractor under, put my boat under, put a lot of farming equipment, hardware, tools, just a lot of stuff that's in the way of my main workshop. So I'm gonna bring it out here. A lot of fuel. Well, I have a lot of room to put stuff under here. So. I've been working on this and it's kicking my butt royally. So I haven't had much time to do any videoing or posting videos. Uh, I'm also, we, my daughter is getting close to graduation and she goes to, well, she goes to uh, an online university. It's a, uh, it's not a it's not a, a standard setting of high school. It caters to young athletes and stuff. And uh, anyway, she's her her commencement is in Anaheim, California, and she wants to she really wants to walk and get her diploma and instead of just having it you know mailed and stuff. And I don't blame her. She worked hard for it, and while she was she's competing. Pretty much professionally in the eventing circuit, uh, the equine eventing circuit, and uh, she's been—I mean, a lot of events lately. Uh, we've been navigating that and uh, trying to. She's been like a champ getting through, dealing with her schooling. Wow, I can't believe she can do that. I would have never been able to do that as a teenager. I was so undisciplined in that manner. I mean, I played sports, and I was disciplined with my sports, but uh, when it came to school, I don't know. She's an amazing young lady. Anyway, uh, I love them blueberries. I'm going to come back down. I haven't had much time to do much of anything. I'm going to go ahead and give some quick views of the garden and stuff that's been going on around here but uh to tell you all the truth it's just been trying to get things done as much as i can the corn's looking great you know y'all this was all laid down i mean i say it's looking great but look at all them weeds in there holy moly that kind of got away from me Next week, I'm hoping maybe I can get in here. I need to put some more fertilizer to them. It's about that time. And uh, I'm going to have to get in here and uh, really get on that scuffer hoe. That shuffle hoe, scuffle hoe, stirrup hoe. And uh, then I'm going to have to fertilize. Wow. Huh. So much to do. Y'all, look at this. I have to pick beans almost every other day. They are ready again. I got to pick beans. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I got so many beans to pick. It's amazing. I wish y'all could really appreciate it. I've picked so many every day. And look, these, these bush beans ain't really that big yet. I don't think they really come into their own. So, this is going to be incredible, y'all. So here we go, all right.
right y'all that's just the contenders wow wow I still gotta pick the other ones All right, y'all, I'm getting ready to jar green beans, but I gotta go put, this is what we had for peas this year. Um, we had a pretty good pea harvest. It could have been better, probably about twice this, but I just couldn't get out there to pick all the time. So this is what I picked and hauled. So my wife wants me to go, these all frozen. So she wants me to go put them in the outside, make room, because they're taking up space. But each one of those is a meal for us, and we already ate probably about half of that. So we had a pretty good year. Uh, yeah, peas, yummy.
Well, I didn't get through the whole row. I got to this point. But uh, this is gonna be the even better row right here. But I got half a bucket of potatoes and that's from scrappy scraps planting. So I, that's a lot of potatoes for us. And I still got three more raised bed gardens, one more row right here, and the rest of this row. We're gonna have a lot of potatoes, y'all. All right. Y'all see I got the chickens running around. Well, I started mixing the other flock. Well, not mixing every one of them. I'm still trying to continue that experiment if y'all been around for a while. Which ones are going to be hens and which ones are going to be roosters from the youngsters. Oh, that's a little girl right there. She got the gimpy foot. I'll have to put her back in there. That's one of the youngins. I don't know where they all at. They somewhere around. Hopefully. Uh, I don't know where they at. I don't know where the youngsters are at. Hmm. Where'd they go? That's one of them. Oh, there's some, there they are. Okay. So, I have them. That's the ones that I thought would be the hens. But I think I see a rooster in there. I'm not sure. But we'll find out. If it's like only one and it's mostly... This is supposed to be the roosters. And man, get back. I gotta... This is supposed to be the roosters. I don't know if it is. I don't know if it's not. But that's the ones that I'm supposed to... But I need a... They kind of look bigger. They're a lot more butthole-ish. But I need to put them out of... And that from that roost into another I need to move the other ones all over anyway it's just a lot I'm gonna get to it I've been in this garden the new garden new in-ground garden and uh <laughs> that's my door uh, man these cherry tomatoes are just going crazy you can kind of see the weeds got away from me a little bit after I made that whole video about getting the weeds it got away from me now I got beautiful tomatoes coming on in here just really nice I don't know something pecked both of those my chickens been getting in here and uh ooh, look at that they got some worms I gotta get some put some seven on there but they got some good tomatoes on here see that see that and uh they're really doing all right but the chickens really got in here you could look they got in here and, oh no <laughs> they they ate everything god dog it and them dang chickens oh well what you gonna do you know that's why I have raised beds uh, so that they they got in there any of the low low hanging fruit got tore up look at that Look at that. Beautiful tomatoes tore up. I'm sure that one is too. Not so bad. I shouldn't have picked it. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> They'll come along. But these aren't doing near as good as the raised bed. Man, I have picked so many beans. I have picked so many. So many beans. Mmm. Wow. Cucumbers. They're doing great. I don't know, man. Had a, I think a little deer got in here and nipped on this one. Came under the fence. Little bitty deer. Baby. It's alright, though. Got cucumbers coming on. They'll be ready before long. I'll have more than I can handle, so I ain't too worried. I mean, they're already way up to the top of the get over there the trailer I dug all the potatoes look y'all can even see some of the old seed potatoes I could rebury them they read it they they still good yeah is that good 
Yeah, they didn't get to that one. Thank goodness. Mm-hmm. Okay, they didn't get to all of them. Wow. Thank God. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See, these are a little bit farther behind than the other ones. But that's, that's what happened. I, I really wish they wouldn't have got to these. Dang. They really just hit them all. Oh, well. These are my super dupers. Uh, I'll get a few off of that, though. I mean, I'm going to have some more tomatoes than I, I need from the other garden. So, that's this garden. Oh, wait. Let's go over here. They got some more. Those Taylor horticulture beans been coming in, too. I picked I picked a grocery bag of both of them. Man, it smells like something died right here. Must be them chicken coops. Okay. Cucumbers coming in. Oh, no. I don't want them growing out of there. Come on, no. Oh, I don't know how to get that back out of there. Mm -mm. I don't want you growing outside of there because the deer will definitely eat. Okay. <laughs> I was able to get it back in. Okay. And here, this needs to go up the trellis. You need to go that way. Some of the... Some of, I just threw some squash seeds down later. Look at this. Come on. Got to be on the trellis. There you go. So yeah, I picked some of them Taylor horticulture beans. Look, they even still got some on there. Huh. That's a good looking green bean. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Most people, uh, from what I understand, let these go to shelling. And they, ha they shell them for the hard beans. But I'm finding they have a nice, mild, clean, green bean flavor so see them eating them tomato hmm they love them green tomatoes all right y'all these raised beds they might look like a hot mess with these peas but that's kind of what I want they go on the seed they're gonna dry up. I could pick those right now and dry them inside, but I'm gonna just let them dry right here. Uh-oh. Something else getting in there. Let's see all these. These are gonna make seeds for next year. Oh, Lord. You think I got some kind of worm problem in here? I gotta pick these beets. But we will get to that. Oh, they got some good looking beets in there. Oh, yeah. Good looking beets, but the tops are getting towed up. Yeah, and these peas, they, they they done for. I mean, you might get a eater somewhere up in there, but this is just, I let it all go to seed so I can have my seed stock for next year. Gonna have plenty. Uh, these onions, they never got real big, but they need to come up for sure. Uh, ain't nothing wrong with that. I mean, that's a good little onion right there. But I did not get a huge onion harvest. I mean, that's not too bad. Got some okay reds. So I got a few reds, a few, that's green onions, so I'll let that go. Look, these peas look like they, look like going, this is just as good. I'm glad that, see they in there, that's the seeds for next year. That's what I'm going to use for next year's seeds. So, right here, no, man, but that, that's some, there's one. They're in there. I just got to go rooting for them. Yeah, that's some right here. 
Yeah. No, not all of them got seeds. Wow. Yeah, some of them do, some of them don't, but this, look up here. That's definitely seeds for next year. Huh. Some of them kind of empty, but, you know, I'll have seeds. They're in there. I feel them. I'll come get those. They got tons of them. By the time I get these next for, for next year, ooh, Lord, they're coming out. That's a beautiful seed pod right there. Yeah. I need to come pick the seeds and get them saved for next year. I don't want them dropping off of here. For sure. Oh, well, they got tons of them up in here. Nice. Yeah. And then, look, they're all over. That's some more snow peas, sh sugar peas, snow peas, snow peas. And, uh, I got tons of peas for seeds for next year. <laughs> I see one. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's going to be good seed. I see one. That's almost pick and eat. Let's see. How about I do it? Huh. Oh, yeah. I lost one of them. Don't want to lose that. Mm-hmm. Good. Wow, what a treat. Right at the end. Look at all them seeds. I need to pick the seeds. Okay. I still got... I picked... I, I, I dug all the in-ground potatoes. And I still got to come dig the majority of the raised bed potatoes. There's going to be tons of potatoes. Now look at this, y'all. This is these these tomatoes are just off the chart beautiful. I mean, beautiful. This is a beautiful plant, but I don't see any tomatoes on it now. There, there, there's some coming, but it's a little slower. But look at here. That's a black crim coming on. Beautiful. And uh, this is the soup. Uh oh, what happened here? Well, that that happens. You lose some sometimes, but that's crazy. I don't I don't like that. But look, look, beautiful tomatoes on the ones that are. Look at that. Yeah. Huh. I don't like losing that one, but market slifter. Whoo! They got some tomatoes in there. It's hard to see them because they all oh, covered up. Look at these beautiful, beautiful tomatoes in there. I mean, well, here we go. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. All the way up. I mean, setting way up top. And look at these, there's thousands of tomatoes in here. I'm telling you, y'all don't you might not believe it, but there's just thousands. Look. All of these. That's at the top. You come in here. Look at this. Look in there. I mean just tomatoes everywhere. That's the cherry varieties. Wow. And the bell peppers. Wow. Ah, huh. me. I gotta get these dang bugs off of here. This is supposed to come up here. You ain't supposed to be doing that. Try to show butt up there. You know, this is just, I, I can't, I mean, I can only do so much. Look at this. That's beautiful, huh? Look at that. Yeah. I mean, there's tomatoes everywhere. Beautiful. Beautiful. And they're all up in there, too, y'all. See them? Right there. Beautiful. Wait, look, look at that. You think they ain't got a lot of tomatoes in there? All right, y'all. 
that's about all I can do. I got so much stuff to do right now. See, this is going to be tomatoes all out right there. That, that whole frond of them. Like a frond, like a fern frond. Wow. More coming. All the way to the top. Look at this. God, dog. Just beautiful. Look at that. You go in there and you look. I mean, they everywhere. All up in there. Oh, up in there, huh? It's a lot of tomatoes. Oh, look at this. That, that's a cucumber. I can tell you right now, that's a cucumber coming up. I'm going to let it grow. I got to come dig these pot potatoes. Look, they popping out the ground. Oh, my goodness. All right, y'all. That's all I got. I just wanted to do a quick little show me, show, show and tell. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Oh, real quick. I'm sorry. I had a couple more onions to throw up right here. Not many, but they, they were doing better earlier this year, but they just not too many. I'm going to come. Still can come eat, you know, use them for something. They had some in here, but they didn't do well. But look, here the bayonet bell peppers. Wow. They're going to do awesome right there. And look, Dill, this garden right here, this these peas, devil went off. I, I put hay in here, and I think they had graze on on it. This garden gave me fits this year. But look, the basil, i got to get rid of this. I don't want that in there. That, I had morning glory in here. Never plant morning glory in a garden. It's just, it's a nightmare. Oh. All right. Ooh, that basil smells good. Oh, I think I got some Thai basil right there. Let's see. Mm hmm. Definitely. I'm going to have to plant that one somewhere else. Okay, y'all. That's, uh, and then the. This is now coriander, but that was cilantro. Well, it's actually, no, that's a that's a parsley I planted right there. But this will come up again. The seeds will recede. And uh, green onions, tarragon. Oh my gosh, the tarragon is going crazy. Look at the lavender, doing great. Love running my hands through that. Mm, oh my gosh, it smells so good. All right, y'all. Dill, awesome. Everybody loves them. Dill. Mmm. Mmm. Go west. Alright, y'all. That is it. Talk to y'all later. Y'all have a great, a great week. Bye.